These images of shells hitting their targets were released by the Armenian Defence Ministry on September the 29th. The fighting between Armenia and Azerbaijan over the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh has sparked fears that it could draw in Turkey, a member of NATO, and Russia on opposing sides. Azerbaijan also released footage of its artillery in action. A day earlier, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan had voiced full support for them. Azerbaijan topraklarına saldıran Ermenistan'ı bir kez daha kınıyorum. Türkiye tüm imkanları ve tüm kalbiyle dost ve kardeş Azerbaycan'ın yanında olmayı sürdürecektir. Bölgede Dağlık Karabağ'ın işgaliyle başlayan krize artık bir son verilmesinin vakti gelmiştir. Ermenistan'ın işgal ettiği Azerbaycan topraklarını derhal terk etmesiyle bölge yeniden barışa ve huzura kavuşacaktır. Bunun dışındaki tüm dayatmalar ve teklifler sadece haksız ve hukuksuz olmakla kalmayacak, Ermenistan'ı şımartmaya devam edecektir. Armenia and Azerbaijan fought a war over Nagorno-Karabakh in the 1990s after Armenian-backed separatists declared independence. It was Russian mediation that brought a truce, leaving the region under the control of ethnic Armenian forces backed by Yerevan. But political observers in both Baku and Yerevan say that since then, Russia's influence in the region has waned. Stepan Grigorian is chairman of the Center for Globalization and Regional Cooperation in Armenia. This video by RFERL's Armenian service shows shell damage in Martuni, an Armenian-held village in Nagorno-Karabakh on September the 28th. During a government-managed press tour of the area, drones were heard buzzing overhead. Yerevan has accused Turkey of supplying Azerbaijan with drones and having a direct presence on the ground. Armenia's defence ministry said on September the 29th that a Turkish jet had shot down one of its warplanes. Turkey has denied these claims. Russia has a military base in Armenia and is seen as closer diplomatically with Yerevan, though Moscow has sold weapons to both countries. The Kremlin statement on September the 29th was aimed at defusing regional tensions. There has also been shell damage on the Azerbaijani side of the front line, as seen in this video from September the 28th. Russia's calls for restraint have so far gone unheeded, and some in Azerbaijan see it as a sign that Moscow's influence is declining more broadly. Farid Shafiev is chairman of the Center of Analysis of International Relations in Baku. Armenia's health ministry released this video on September the 29th, showing what it said were wounded civilians being treated in a hospital inside Nagorno-Karabakh. Both sides have reported deaths and injuries. The exact numbers could not be verified independently, but dozens of people have lost their lives. The role of Turkey and Russia in influencing the outcome of the current conflict is unclear, but they're not the only outside powers involved. 